Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, Stephen Clark and friends, back with the latest news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Well, we're all full of coronavirus today, let's have a look. A waitress at a Thai restaurant wins 12 million baht all to herself. Thailand's health minister decides to call all foreigners dirty, dirty farangs. Over to Koh Samui, Thailand, bouncer opens fire on men in a bar and kills one of them. Thailand's poverty level rising amid slowing growth. Tourism industry hit hard with mass layoffs and shutdowns. The Thai government cutting costs for airlines. Thai Prime Minister quoted as saying, national lockdown is possible. Temperature checks for all begins at Bangkok airports. But first up, the waitress who wins 12 million baht in the Thai lottery and all her friends and co-workers are gathering around to congratulate her. A waitress in Thailand from Ban Sabah village in Lampung province won 12 million baht in the national lottery by pure luck after she couldn't get a ticket with her license plate number. The woman stated she knew the exact number that she wanted. But as there was no ticket with the numbers, the vendor gave her a random ticket. She was shocked when she realised the big win, but insisted she'll keep on living a normal life. The woman, as it turns out, is a 50-year-old waitress from Pansabar village in Lampung province in Thailand, north near Chiang Mai. She said just before the official draw date, she was working as usual in a restaurant. A lottery vendor came in and offered to sell her a lottery ticket. Co-workers and neighbours came to congratulate her when they heard the news. Lada says she'll be using the money to pay her debt and the rest will be kept in the bank. She says she wants to continue working as usual in the restaurant and continue her simple life with her best friends and her wonderful co-workers. I really think she's about to make a lot of friends. Thailand's top health official apologised for using vulgarity to disparage white tourists Friday morning and demanded they should be kicked out of Thailand. Public Health Minister Anutin Chan Virakun on Friday afternoon apologised for his enraged comments during a photo op at which he was handing out face masks and noticed that some foreigners refused them. He told reporters that Farangs, a catch-all term for white tourists, should be deported for not wearing masks during the current coronavirus outbreak. His words of wisdom were, these fucking Farangs, these Farang tourists, the embassy should be notified and the public should be informed. We are giving away masks, but they refuse to take them. They need to be kicked out of Thailand, he said while giving an interview to the media at BTS Siam, where the media had been invited to film him personally handing out masks to commuters. Today I'm in Chiang Mai. There's pretty much no more Chinese tourists, only Farangs. More than 90% of these wear masks, but not a single Farang has one. This is why there is so much infection in their countries, uh, Nutin Chan Virakun said. We have to be more careful of Westerners than Asians. It's winter right now in Europe, so these people are fleeing the cold country and coming to Thailand. Many are dressed dirtily and never shower. As hosts, we have to be careful. Even they don't want to mingle with each other, closing their borders, the Post said. The Chinese, the Asian people, they all take the mask, but these Europeans, how frustrating, he continued. In his online apology, he said that foreigners show disgust at ties. Are uh, Newton's apology? I apologise that today I kinda lost myself. To some Europeans who show disgust at ties, who wear masks and refuse to cooperate to wear the mask, he wrote on his Facebook. And what about all the ties that are disgusted in what you said and have a declining tourist industry? Are you helping? And that's Thailand's health minister. Maybe should be tourism minister.
And now over to the Wild West in southern Thailand, Koh Samui, and a gunfight at the OK Corral. A security guard at a pub in Koh Samui has allegedly opened fire on guests yesterday, killing one and injuring two. Gunfire erupted on Beach Road as a security guard opened fire on guests. One man was killed at the scene and two are injured in hospital. The security guard told investigators that prior to Wednesday, he had warned the group of six that arrived that they were not allowed to bring alcohol from outside the club. An argument started when he repeated his warning. The security guard stated that the man that died attacked him with a bottle, so he fired a 38. The dead man's friend also opened fire, so he shot at him as well. The bouncer has been charged with murder and weapon offences. The other men are facing attempted murder and charged with weapon offences as well. Thailand's poverty level rising amid slow growth. The number of people living in poverty in Thailand climbed significantly in recent years. According to a report on inequality in Southeast Asia's second largest economy, Thailand's poverty rate rose to 9.8% from 7.2% between 2015 and 2018. The absolute number living in poverty advanced to more than 6.7 million from 4.85 million. Recent poverty trends demonstrate Thailand's level of economical development. Households are still vulnerable to shocks and weak economic conditions. Thailand's gross domestic product growth rate has been low, especially over large economies in the developing East Asia and Pacific region. Drought has affected farmers, already one of the poorest segments of the society. It will be equally important for Thailand to support the creation of more productive and higher paying jobs. Thailand is the only nation in the Southeast Asia region to experience several increases in poverty since 2000. Thai expansion has lagged behind the rest of Asia amid turbulent politics. Thailand has faced a range of challenges, from strong currency to drought and most recently the coronavirus outbreak, which has hurt economically crucial tourism sector. A history of political unrest and military coups has also hampered the economy. The most recent military intervention was in 2014, led by Army Chief Prayat Chenachut. He ruled as the head of the joint before returning as Premier after a disputed general election last year. One tenth of the Thai population is still living well below the poverty line, even though the country's GDP would be high enough to eliminate poverty completely. More than 300 employees of the Windsor Suite Hotel in central Bangkok are scrambling to find new jobs after it is announced a six-month closure by the end of next month amid the coronavirus outbreak. This is one of the biggest single layoffs amid gradual shutdowns by tourist operators, especially those catering for Chinese tourists, who made up over a quarter of the visitors to Thailand last year. This is not good news for the Thailand tourist industry at all. And this will be devastating for Thailand's economy. Let's just hope more hotels are not forced to close their doors. While Thailand's struggling tourist industry is suffering very bad, Thailand's cabinet approved the relief package proposed by the Transport Minister for airlines reeling from the impact of coronavirus, said the Transport Minister. On top of that list is a 50% reduction in landing and parking fees for all Thai and foreign airlines from April the 1st to December the 31st, and another extension to the reduction of fuel costs which is the excess for fuel taxes. The reduction in fuel costs will be extended from December the 31st from the original expiry date of September the 30th. The airport of Thailand's president said passengers at the six airports last month dropped 27.7% year on year. During March the 1st to the 16th, the number fell 49% on average and even plunged to 60% on some days. This will be great for Thai Airlines that has been struggling even before the coronavirus.
Bangkok. Prime Minister Priyat Chatterjee said the government would lock down the nation if the coronavirus disease outbreak grew to its third stage in the country. The government is working on measures to prepare for a third stage outbreak. Many measures are being prepared, and some measures have already been implemented, he said. The preparation of facilities is important. They include bed, specialised hospitals, military hospitals, some private hospitals, and some hotels may be used. We are gathering information and looking for suitable places, General Priyat said. He also said that the local outbreak remains at the second stage. The third stage would be human to human infection. And if that happened, a third stage national lockdown would be necessary and implemented, the Prime Minister stated. What the government is doing is not a lockdown. It is an intensifying screening of visitors and departing people, he said. Prime Minister General Priyat also said that operators cooperating with the government's decision to close entertainment places temporarily. Many of Thailand's favourite gathering places are now temporarily closed. So Winnipeg Airport in Bangkok has begun mandatory temperature checks on everyone entering into the passenger terminal, whilst the army will start spraying in Bangkok streets with disinfectant in a measure designed to curb the coronavirus disease. The body temperature screening at Savinabun Airport in Samut Prakom Province started on Wednesday. All air passengers, visiting, and airport staff must have their body temperature checked before entering the passenger terminal. The airport management stated, "If any outbound travellers are found with a fever, airport officials will ask the relevant airlines if the passenger can board the flight. Visitors and airport staff with fevers will be stopped from entering the terminal building. Some of the terminal gates were closed to facilitate the screening measures. The airport management advises travellers to arrive at the airport early because the screening process could cause delays." 